Hey guys, I'm Taryn. Thanks for coming to check out the way I set up my March bullet journal. In my February month, I asked you guys what country you wanted to see, starting with M. And thank you to those who gave feedback in the comments. I listened and I've done M for Mexico. So let's check out what I did. I hope you like it. So we're just gonna start with a flip through quick one from February, just showing you the setup that I did there. If you haven't seen that setup, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out if you would like to. So onto the cover page for the March spread. Now we've gone for Mexico and I was very excited to do this one because I love the thought of the bright colors and I was getting inspired already by what I think of when I think of Mexico. So to start this one off, I've decided to do a hacienda kind of feel to it. Um, I'm sticking with that ge geometric kind of shape where I'm putting the picture inside, like the, in this case it's an octagon. So I've done a circle and I've done a, a triangle for Japan, which is the January bullet journal. So I thought with this one I would use an octagon and I think it worked out really well because it kind of, it lent itself to flow onto the rest of the journal as you'll see coming up. Um, just using these shapes and lots of bright colours was very fun to do. I'm using acrylic paint for this one. I wanted to use textures, um, but oh, uh, markers, <laughs> if you're not Australian. Um, yeah, so the markers that would work really well would be alcohol-based, so you could blend the colours together. But unfortunately, alcohol markers don't work in journals like this one. So then I would have to use water-based, and then they don't they don't mash well together. So instead of that, I wanted that bold payoff, so I thought I'd use acrylic paint. Very glad I did because. I think it's looking really, really impactful, so powerful. And then, no, this happened. I don't know what happens, but my hands just sometimes are so clumsy. They drop the paint, the paintbrush, the paint goes everywhere, and there's no way of fixing it. So I just lick my finger, wipe it around a bit. I was horrified and crushed because I was really liking it. So I just had to paint over it in white and hope for the best. Um, in the end, you can't really see it that much, but. These are things we have to do when we're clumsy people. Okay, moving on to here where I'm putting in some highlights to give a little bit more dimension to this painting. Um, so I'm adding lots of greenery and there's light coming in through those beams at the top of the hacienda and leaning down onto the doors. So I'm just adding as much detail as I can into the paint. And then afterwards I'm gonna go over it with an art line anyway to section it all off and make it even more striking. Moving over to this March font, I decided to do it vertically down the side. I think just it, the layout worked much better having it um, vertical like this. And I stuck with those bright colors and then did a very Mexican style font. Just adding some cutesy details into the bold font, which I think makes it look really Mexican. And now I'm moving on to, the paint is now dry, so I'm going in with my art line. This is a 0.6 fine liner, and I'm just basically going around all of the elements of the painting and filling in any details. So adding some stripes down these doors to make it look more like you know proper barn doors made out of wood. I'm loving the bold blue and the orange, because they're complementary colors and they just, they just really draw your eye in, I think. Um, and then just adding some features all through it, um, going over the wood grain and putting some detail into that ceiling in the background. And then she was ready. We had to now, I'm still doing the Dutch door on here. So I'm just cutting out the edge of the bullet journal, as you can see here, where it will allow me to sort of turn to that page easier because these Dutch doors act as almost like a bookmark. So now as we turn over, I've already made a line that's 10, uh, 10 dots in from the right hand side and put a line down so that I know what area I can draw within it. And this is going to be my monthly calendar spread. And for this one, I've done a sombrero and a set of maracas. And then this little baby calendar down here is what you can see when you fold that Dutch door over. So it's just like a little, a little marker showing you what day of the month that each thing falls on. And then the larger one up here. And then I'm just coloring in using um, my Ohuhu dub jewel tip markers. And this is the fine liner side. I didn't want to use the felt tip side, um, or the brush tip, sorry, because 
I find it adds like too much colour and then it can get a little bit overpowering. Um, so I've just used this crotch, cross hatch, I said it again, I've said crotch hatching before and it made me laugh. Now it's cross hatching and I'm just using that in the colouring to try and try and still get a lot of payoff but it isn't as strong. And now we're moving on to the next page which is the, it's just a, really a quote page. It was an excuse for me to draw a llama because I wanted to draw one and I'm really happy with how this guy is turning out. Uh, so he's got a little quote above him that says no drama llama which is always nice to have in as an inspiring sort of um, memo that you can look back at or motto that you can look back at throughout the month saying you know just go easy be easy let things slide on through no drama llama so I thought that was a good idea to remind me to be calm and cool and then I thought I'd colour him in in these nice colours which actually feel a bit Moroccan to me but it's the still general idea of Mexico, beautiful colours and rich, rich tones. So I'm adding some tassels over here and outlining everything in the black art line. And then moving on to the other page. Now this one I've called Agenda but this is basically your to-do list. So this is where I'm going to put all my to-do lists and things that I have to achieve through throughout the month and then finishing the page off with a cute little Mexican themed border. On this page here I'm basically doing this as a need to have and a nice to have um, list. It's basically a way for me to, to spread out purchases that you may need. Um, if you're anything like me there's tons of things that come up through the month you're like, oh, I need to get that. Oh, I've ran out of that. I need to get that. But do you really need it? Most of the time, I don't. So I thought it's a good idea to have a need to have section and a nice to have section. So the things that are nice to have, I can put on the list and whether I get to them this month is the next question or whether I see the need to have them at all throughout the month. It's just a good way of um, minimizing the spends that we tend to do without thought these days. Now this next page is another new one for me this month. It's a page where I can write down books, movies and TV shows that I hear of or want to read soon. Um, I'm going through a Jack Reacher craze at the moment and I'm trying to get through all of those. Um, I've read quite a few but I need to get more so I wanted to write them down and this was the perfect place to put them. This next spread is another newbie. This is where I'm going to plan my meals for the month of March. Um, so I've done it with this cute little taco and guacamole and avocado drawing down the base. And then I've called it the meal planner. And I've designed it in a way that's very suitable to the theme. Um, lots of like a pattern border at the top and just filling in these little doodles down the bottom with color made them really pop. I don't know about you, but I always struggle to think of meals at the beginning of the week when I'm about to get the food shop organized and I have nothing and I come up blank with what to make. So I thought if I had a place where I can write it all down that I can always look back on, I'll know exactly what to make. And we're pretty, we're pretty um, low key with our meals. We sort of stick to the same things on a weekly basis. Oh, poor kids. Um, but yeah, so I thought if I just do a monthly plan of a week, so this, this spread basically covers lunch, brekkie and dinner and it gives us the whole month ready to go. Now this one is, this is called, I'm basically calling this the mind map, but in other people's bullet journal spreads you might hear it called the brain dump. And I just, I just don't like the word dump in my bullet journal so I didn't want to use the word brain dump for some reason. So I thought I'd call it something different and I'm calling it the mind map. So then that brought that skull straight to my head where the sugar skulls that you see in the Mexican um, Day of the Dead, I think it is. So this one is really fun to draw if you wanted to ever add this into your bullet journal or just draw one for the sake of it. It's so much fun. You just start with the basic skull shape and then you decorate it however you want. So I'm putting the little rose doodles that I did on my last video um, and just lots of petals and curlies and dots and flowers and flames. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, even a mandala at the top. 
I'm just basically making it super decorative and fun and colorful. And it really is a great place to start with. So whenever I get a thought during the month and I just want to write it down or it's a note that I've got really nowhere else to put it, I just put it on this, on this mind map page and it's, yeah, it's just going to help me through throughout the month. I also think that this kind of drawing is very therapeutic because there's no, you're not following anything, you're just kind of drawing whatever comes out and whatever you feel like doing. I think it's really nice not having a guide to go by. So once I did that, I wanted to add like a slight quote to it. And I thought because it is quite a mindful drawing, I am I thought that would be funny because I'm trying to get things out of my mind and onto the page in this. So it's going from mindful to mind free. So I thought I'd write that in at the top and it would just remind me that if your brain is feeling full and all cluttered, get it out onto paper, you'll feel much better for it and then you'll be free. Here I am writing it out using the calligraphy pen that you may have seen a previous video on. Uh, if not, I'll leave a link below. It's how you get started on modern calligraphy. And I show you how to how you can fake it by using your own art line pen or fine liner. And then if you have a proper brush marker, I'll show you the techniques to how to get started. And then I'm just writing at the bottom mind map in a traditional kind of Mexican style font and then outlining the whole thing in a border. And then all those spaces on the left and right will be for my brain dump. Now this next page is for my goodliness tracker, which is something that I have had in my previous journals. And this time I'm laying it out differently again. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do this for me. Um, I think I'm going to like this one because it's a lot cleaner and less less um, busy. I think the other, the last one I did was a coffee cup in a spiral form, and I found myself uh, like your eye gets confused of which one that you've actually corrected in the month, in the day. Sorry. Um, so hopefully this one works out a bit better for me. I'm covering this page in some lovely cactus or cacti, maybe. I don't know what the plural is. Um, just little cactuses here around. <laughs> cactuses? Cacti? I should Google that. Well, I just investigated that. Thank you, Google. It is cacti or cactuses. So I was right both times. So that's good. Anyway, so I'm just drawing those out and I'm adding a slightly thicker line on the left side of everything to sort of indicate that the sun is coming from the right hand side. Just gives a little bit more dimension to the drawings themselves. And then throughout the center, I'm just mapping out 31 dots all the way along the spread for each day of the month. And then my little habits that I want to track are down the right hand side. So drinking two liters of water, uh, being healthy, eating good, you know, exercising daily, reading daily, flossing the teeth, watering the plants and saving money. They are my core things that I like to track because they're the easiest to forget and they're a great reminder to have this little tracker right on hand. Now this is the last page in the spread. This is my weekly, my weekly calendar. I decided to draw a Mexican guitar or an acoustic guitar <laughs> and just making it a little bit more Mexican looking by putting a sort of a fancy decoration around the middle, a little flower sort of look. And I'm just using my art line and then cross hatching it with a brown Ohuhu marker still, just giving it a little bit more depth. It was looking a little bit flat for a while, so I added more darkness down on the base and that made it pop off the page a little bit better. And then just throwing in some um, music lines and music notes, a couple of treble clefs. And then I always leave a section for notes down in the bottom right or somewhere on the spread. And then mapping out six um, quadrants or six sections for me to write in each day. So this is where I write any tasks or appointments, things like that and then I can always go to this on each week. Now I do show the weekly spreads that I do throughout the month on my Instagram if you wanna follow me there. And now we'll have a quick flick through of what we've achieved. So this is the cover page and the calendar spread, the sombrero and the maracas. And we're turning over to the little llama page, which I really like, and the agenda. 
and then the need to have and the nice to have list and then the books and movies and TV shows that I'd like to check out. Ooh, the meal planner. I really like this page. I can't wait to use that one. And the mind map, ooh, another favorite. So yeah, totally doing some brain dumping on that page. Then my goodliness tracker. And finally, the weekly spread. Hope you guys enjoyed that and you got some ideas for your own. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks guys, have a good one.